Thank you, your highnesses, your excellencies, and fellow AI practitioners. Uh, thank you for having me come by and explain uh, about, give you some background on some of our journey, which hopefully will be useful for you and other customers as, as they're embarking on it. My name is Vivek Mohindra, as Anjali mentioned, I lead our corporate strategy for the company. We started on this journey pretty early, and I'm here to share some of those uh, experiences with you. Um, we have a deep uh, history in the region and deep relationships, and we're looking forward to continuing to work with the region and the customers here to continue the journey that we heard about uh, this morning at the kickoff as well. Uh, I am going to cover several elements. The first thing I'm going to do is talk about the four key principles of a strategic framework. We think about uh, AI in four different principles, and obviously the opportunity is massive. I am not going to go through all of these uh, numbers over here. You've seen them, trillions of dollars worth of additional GDP, boost in productivity, and obviously massive return from making the right investments in the right way. The four key principles that underlie our strategic framework for AI is what we call in, on, with, and for. AI in is how we think about putting AI in our products so our customers can use them and use them without even knowing AI is running underneath. AI on is what our customers end up doing with our products to realize the benefits that AI can unleash for them. AI with is what we do with our ecosystem partners to bring these benefits to our customers. And AI for is how we think about using AI for ourselves. And we think of ourselves as a customer zero. As I mentioned, we started on this journey uh, well ahead of a lot of other companies in the, in the world largely because of the vision of our founder and CEO and chairman, Michael Dell, and vice chair and COO, Jeff Clark, who instantaneously got the benefit of this and the promise of this and urged us to embark on this well ahead of a lot of other companies. So the in, on, with, and for is a good governing framework for us to think about it for ourselves and also for our customers in terms of how they should be thinking about it. Now, when you look at uh, what underpins our AI strategy, first, we strongly believe that the AI strategy has to be reflective and supportive of a company's business strategy. So with that key foundation, we have five core beliefs. The first one is that data is the differentiator. It is all about the data. Number two, Bringing AI to data is much more effective and efficient as compared to bringing data to AI. And why is that? Because majority, vast majority of the data today sits outside the public clouds. More than 50% of it is generated at the edges. As you start thinking about moving data to uh, AI, that becomes an unscalable problem. Number three, no one size fits all. We believe the world will have a whole range of models, all of it from small to large, purpose-built to general, and that's just how companies and institutions will realize value from these models. Number four, open modular architectures are really, really important, particularly because different parts of the stack are moving at different speeds, so they are really, really important. Number five, AI requires a broad, open ecosystem of players well beyond Dell Technologies and others that you'll be hearing about today and over the next two days to bring the benefits to the customers. Uh, what we have done is we have recognized these core principles and created what we call is Dell AI Factory. It starts with the data. It has a range of services layers on top of it. It has an open ecosystem underneath it as well as all the infrastructure layer. We have the broadest infrastructure in the industry, which gives us tremendous ability to bring uh, our own experiences to our customers and also be able to help them in terms of how to go about it. And obviously, it's all anchored in the use cases and the ROI you, uh, you recognize from that. So the Daily AI Factory, the way we have constructed it, 
recognizing all the input we have gotten from our customers is that we need to meet with our customers wherever they are in their journey. Some of them are looking to figure out where to start, and some of them are looking for fully modular, validated designs that they can implement. So we have constructed this factory to be very flexible to be able to deliver that, and we believe that is a really important principle to be able to bring the full benefits of AI to customers across all range of sectors and industries. Um, how do you go about accelerating these outcomes? We believe that there are five simple steps. Step one, you have to figure out what the strategy is and what the use cases are. Without those use cases, the biggest mistake companies make is they embark on AI without recognizing what they're trying to do with it. Number two, data. You have to figure out what to do with the data and actually uh, and, and how you're going to bring it, bring it forward. Number three is doing some POCs. Number four is deploying and scaling it. And a key part of scaling it is also making sure that skilling is a part of that. As we heard at the opening, uh, it is, a lot of it is human-assisted AI, and building those AI skills within the company is a critical element of that, too. We believe those are the five key ways that one goes about accelerating these outcomes. Um, and we have done a lot of this with our customers uh, globally. One, one example I'll just pick and talk about is McLaren. Uh, we have worked with McLaren in terms of uh, making sure that they can actually set up digital twins and be able to replicate essentially a new car design in a very rapid manner and prototype it. And these are the types of benefits that go into uh, having a company like McLaren have the type of immense success it is having today. Some of the other examples I'll share. And we have worked across a whole range of sectors, ranging from financial institutions to manufacturing to uh, government institutions. Uh, some of the other examples are uh, typically take the form of, form of our services organizations going in, working with our customers to understand what their business strategies are, what the use cases are that they want to focus on. And typically, those use cases revolve around areas like sales content generation, product development in terms of R&D and software, in terms of uh, sales tools usage, customer support and customer service, chat areas. Those are the four or five dominant use cases that we have seen our customers uh, embark on first, as well as what we embarked on in, in support of our business strategy. So that's one step we take with our services organizations. Number two, then we actually sit down and figure out what to do with the data and what is the data needed to be able to unlock the full potential of these use cases. And that requires really understanding not only about where the data sits, but how do you curate it and bring it forward to be able to implement these use cases. Number three, then we work through where is the best place to deploy this, uh, these use cases. And given a broad portfolio, the broadest in the industry, we can frequently go in and talk about implementing some of these at the edge, which typically takes the form of a PC, which also tends to be the most power efficient way to do AI, particularly for those use cases where it makes sense, rather than doing it in the data center or in the public clouds. So we work with our customers and like we have done for ourselves to then implement these use cases wherever they make sense. And then the fourth thing we do is POCs, and we have seen with our own examples that there are tremendous, uh, there is tremendous value to be had anywhere between 20 to 40 percent that is publicly uh, reported in multiple use cases and multiple case studies. And it's the same type of benefits that we have also seen in our POCs and we advocate for our customers. And finally, then we help them scale it up, including scaling. So hopefully, I have been able to communicate the excitement that we feel about this and very practical way to go about embarking on it. And uh, well, we have uh, tremendous success in it globally, and obviously we have tremendous success with customers here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and we continue to look forward to partnering with every, all of you here to continue to realize the benefit from, it, from these technologies and accelerate the human potential. Thank you very much.